up guys, my name's Alex and welcome to another video of mine. I was planning on doing a Les Talk today. My Les Talk for this week is due, but uh, I was going through what I wanted to talk about and there was really only two things that I really wanted to talk about and that one of them was Runaways and one of them was Neighbours. Um, I haven't finished Runaways yet, I literally just wanted to mention that it's on. So I figured I would do two separate videos talking about each su subject separately. So I can talk about Runaways when I finally finish it um, and today... As you guys can probably tell by the title, I'm talking about Neighbours. So, for those of you that don't know, for because I think a good majority of you guys are in the US or Canada, um, Neighbours is an Australian soap opera. We have, I think, two major ones. We have Neighbours and we have Home and Away. I, I don't typically watch Australian TV, to be honest. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I just have never really gotten into Australian TV. I used to watch Neighbours and Home and Away when I was younger with my grandparents, um, but I haven't watched it in quite a while. That has changed. I have started to watch Neighbours. I've started to catch up on Neighbours because they have introduced a new queer storyline in the most recent episodes. Now, when I heard this, when I first saw this, I was nervous. I was really, really nervous because I think they've done a few like gay guy storylines. I don't, I don't know what their track record is with guys, but with like women loving women storylines, they've just been bad. Both Home and Away and Neighbours have been bad doing it. They don't have long-term storylines. It's just, you know, to, to get the, that, that sort of shock value for the ratings and then they just move on from the storyline and never touch it again. Um, <laughs> so they don't have a great track record, um, in regards to like queer women storylines. Like I said, I don't, I haven't followed men. I don't know what their storylines are like, their track record. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I was nervous when I first saw this because when I first saw the two girls, Ellie and Chloe, I was like, oh, they're hot. But I can't get my hopes up. I'm here to tell you my hopes are up. <laughs> and honestly, I, I cannot promise you that it's gonna end well. I can't promise you that it's gonna be a good storyline. I can't promise you that it's not gonna be over in a couple weeks time after the, they've gotten the, the ratings boost. I can't promise you these things, but myself, I've started to watch it and I've started to get invested and I'm just, uh, I'm really on board because I'm a sucker for soap operas. I really am. They're so stupid in the best possible way. They're just the ultimate guilty pleasure, you know? I just, I really like soap operas. So of course, when I started to watch Neighbours again, I got sucked into it and I got sucked into the Ellie and Chloe ship. <sighs> Honestly, FYI, just before I get into this video, it's gonna be full of spoilers. Like, I'm just gonna be gushing about the storyline up until now. So, just FYI. I am gonna put two links in the description. Um, the first link is someone that is posting the the episodes, the, the scenes as they're happening. So, the most recent scenes, they're posting them on their YouTube channel. The second link is they're posting like all of Ellie and Chloe's backstory. So if you want to start from like the beginning, um, before it even happened, like months ago, yeah, that's going up on that YouTube channel. But obviously if you're Australian and I think from the UK, um, you can watch it on TV or I believe on their website, you can watch it for free. Um, yeah, so those links are there. That's how you can watch it. But from here on, I'm going to be talking spoilers because I just tend to gush about it. I... <sighs> Oh, the storyline. We've seen it time and time again. I feel like, like with queer women's storylines in soap operas, I feel like the storyline comes up a lot. But essentially, <sighs> Ellie is um, marrying Chloe's brother. <laughs> Chloe is like this free-spirited, like she's only come into the show, I think it was like nine months ago. I think she came into the show this year. Um, and she came in as like a whirlwind of her attention, just messing things up, just doing her own thing, like really throwing everyone on their feet, you know, that kind of personality. Um, <laughs> and Chloe and Ellie hated each other when they first met. Well, Ellie hated Chloe and now they're best of buds. Ellie is, is marrying her brother and Chloe's going to be her bridesmaid. I just, oh my God, this storyline... We've seen it time and time again, but honestly, I'm still here for it. <laughs> Chloe, uh, 
<laughs> Chloe is in love with Ellie. <laughs> she is in love with Ellie. And obviously, as you know, Ellie is marrying her brother. She has not quite figured out her feelings yet. We all know it's Endgame, though. <laughs> we don't know this, but we're hoping anyway. <laughs> Um, so Chloe is in love with Ellie. Ellie has no idea. They have kissed. There has been a kiss. <sighs> oh, man, I shivered so hard. <laughs> so they had the kiss. It, it was like Ellie got fired from her job. I don't fully know the backstory to that one. I'm not, I'm not that far. I haven't caught up that far back yet. But she got fired from her job and then Chloe's trying to cheer her up. They're having like a pity party. <sighs> And they're just like all cuddled up on the lounge together in their jammies. <laughs> and they're just like gushing over each other. They're just gushing over each other. And I'm like, I appreciate this. I really do. And then Chloe leans over and kisses Ellie. <laughs> oh, but Ellie is like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? Oh, she's freaked out a little bit. She freaked out a little bit because honestly, I mean, fair. She's like dating her brother slash she wasn't engaged at the time, but you know. They were dating. I don't think she even thought about it. But, you know, it's that, that that whole love story, like, trope where, like, they didn't think about it and then there's a kiss and then that's all they think about. <laughs> so we've just seen, like, up until now, we've just seen sort of Chloe pining after Ellie. But I feel like the tables are about to turn. Because, like, I, you know, as I said, Chloe, free spirit, she knows who she is. Like, I think, like, from the get-go, she's like, I'm keen on dating Ellie. And, like, from the get-go, it was sort of in, like, a joking manner. But, obviously, it's gotten more serious. Um, and that plus um, recent promo that come out has indicated that, you know, she is comfortable dating women. She has dated women before. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Like I said, Chloe's been pining. But now they're sort of like, Chloe is just kind of like, Sick of pining, so she went. They went and got drunk. She's trying to forget about Ellie. Just goes and like you know makes out with some dude. Totally, just uh, totally, just to get a reaction from Ellie. Come on, come on, totally. And it worked. Let's be honest. Ellie was fucking jealous that whole scene, that whole episode. So jealous. I don't even think she realized how jealous she was, but she was jealous. Oh, I'm here for it. Oh, and then Chloe, oh, this letter. Chloe wrote Ellie a letter, a Christmas card. Oh my God, I can't, I can't. When, oh, ah, oh, that scene, I was like, oh. <laughs> so Chloe essentially writes her a letter saying that she's truly madly and deeply in love with Ellie. Oh. But then, oh, the soap opera drama comes into play. Ellie's mum finds it. Oh, I hate Ellie's mum with such a passion. Like, she just seems like a psycho. Like, in general, not even just towards Chloe, but, like, in general, she seems like a psycho. So, no, I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. But she, like... <sighs> <sighs> She's so rude to Chloe. Takes the letter back to her and essentially tells her she needs to stop. She needs to just get away. She needs to pack up her feelings and go. And I'm like, do you, do I need to? Oh, oh. <laughs> Chloe was heartbroken and it broke my heart. Oh. But honestly, honestly, honestly. How many times have I honest, said honestly this episode? <laughs> I'm here for the storyline. As much as I hate Ellie's mum, I'm here for the storyline because Chloe's going to totally back off. She's, like, terrified that, like, her feelings are wrong, that she's, like, wrong for Ellie. She can't provide Ellie with a family or kids or a good life because that's what her mum has said to her. <sighs> Rude, by the way. Um, so Chloe is totally going to back off. She's just... Oh. It's going to break my heart, but that's going to mean Ellie's going to have to be the one that's chasing. And I'm here for that. I'm here for Ellie realizing that she's just missing that something and that something is Chloe and then she's going to go after her. I'm here for it. <laughs> oh, there was a promo that was released on Twitter. I don't know if it was released anywhere else, but oh, I think we've got Chloe's ex coming into town for like the wedding. Oh my God, I'm here for that drama. The ex is hot. Look, I'm not going to lie. The ex and Chloe are hot together. I'm here for it. Even if it's short-lived, it better be short-lived because Chloe Ellie. But like, I'm here for it for the short term. <laughs> I'm here for jealous Ellie as well. 
Oh, I'm just here for the drama. I'm here for the slow burn. As long as it's endgame. I just, oh God, I'm hoping Neighbours comes through. <sighs> and just like actually gives us a good storyline this time around. If they do, I'm so here for the drama. I'm so here for the slow burn. I'm here for it. Ugh, I'm here for it. So yeah, as you can tell, I've been enjoying Neighbours. <laughs> I'm just, oh God, I am sucked into this storyline, to this show. I do recommend watching it. If you guys are a fan of, I've recommended a few soap operas before. If you guys are a fan of cheesy soap operas, you know, those cheesy storylines, if you guys have been a fan of any of the other soap opera couples that I've, you know, recommended in the past, definitely check out Neighbours. Um, just as cheesy, just as much drama. <laughs> and like I said at the start of the video, there are links in the description. First one is the person uploading, like, all the recent scenes and clips and stuff. Um, and the second one is they're uploading all the backstory to Chloe and Ellie from when Chloe first arrived, which is, like, months ago. But also, like I said, if you're in Australia or UK or anywhere that actually, like, airs the show, definitely check it out um, on, you know, TV or their website. You can watch it for free. I think they have, like, the episodes up for a month and then... I don't know. I don't know if Neighbours does DVDs or anything like that. I don't know where the episodes go after that. Like, I don't know if you can watch old episodes legally. I really don't know. I haven't looked too much into this, but yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited for the storyline. I'm so invested. I'm so invested. And I know it's it's bad, honestly. I just hope Neighbours doesn't mess us around like they usually do. <sighs> God, I just, I just want it to be good. Just come on, just this one storyline. Oh, yeah. But that's my thoughts on Neighbours and Chloe and Ellie. Let me know your thoughts on Neighbours and Chloe and Ellie if you guys have seen it. Um, oh, yeah, let me know. Let me know. I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm falling down this rabbit hole so quickly. It's like terrifying. <laughs> but like I said, I am in the middle of watching Runaways. So once I finish that, I will be making a video. So I'll talk to you guys in that video. But if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys later. Okay, bye.